Okay, so last week we did a review of my top 12 art pieces, and this week is basically going to be the same thing, only we're doing it out of 8 this time. And this time around I had some extra help with the voting, I had some of my friends at school vote on them. So these are not my personal picks, these are from other people. But, um, so shall we just roll on into it? Yeah. Okay, so this one ranked number one. Not one of my personal favorites. It's from my black and white collection, the more emotional works in my sketchbooks. And typically I don't share from my black and white collection, but I decided to just throw them all out there because people were voting for them and I couldn't really just say no because, I mean, if you're going to let people vote, then you got to let them vote freely. So, um... Just like last week, you can pause and read the words if you can. I don't know if they're, like, too blurry to read or anything. But, um, Mia, what do you think of this one? Um, I like the case that she's in and her suit, her cloak is made, and her hair and her makeup. The hair is actually one of my trademarks. That, like, the texturing I do with the hair is something I came up with on my own. It's kind of, it's very detailed, but it's difficult. And, um, about the cage. This is more, like, my black and white collection is mainly, like, interpretive art. Like, it's representative. It's not... I don't I don't really know how to explain it like it's not just what it looks like and I'll find that out with um, some of the later artwork I show because my friend wanted me to show a comic strip that I had written and um, yeah a lot of my little scenarios are representative they aren't as they seem but um, with this one it's more like She's doing the damage to herself. She's so worried about being hurt by other people that she, like, builds this solitary state to keep her safe. But, I mean, this is not, this is not Oprah, so we're not going to go into that. This next one is actually one of my personal favorites. This one got number two. And the little jumper she's wearing, I actually sewed together in miniature. It's really cute. Um, but I'm not going to show it, at least not in this video. Maybe sometime later down the road. But this was actually a doll design that I was going to use for a repaint. And I never really got around to doing it. I think I've only done one repaint before, and it was a hot mess. But um, I don't know. I might try again if someone like suggests it. If I get enough suggestions for it, I'll do it. But, um, yeah, this was a design. I made up this whole character and backstory for it. And, um, yeah, I tend to do that with my artwork. So, number three, I think I have to change the orientation to get the whole thing in there. Yep, that works. So, number three is one of my earlier works. This one was highly recommended. This is one of my favorites, too. I would have put it higher up on the list, but I wasn't really voting. So this one is, like, really, really detailed, and it was a lot more detailed when I first made it. But with it being all lead and inside a notebook with multiple other works, a lot of the lead, like, rubbed off onto the page on top of it. So, <laughs> that was, like, all my hard work down the drain. What do you think about this one? I like the visor, and the <laughs> lips, and I love how she's encouraging another woman. Right, and a lot of people, when they were voting, thought they were lesbians. They are not lesbians, they're just very close friends. This next one, I'm going to change the orientation back.
Okay, so this next one is ranked at number five. And just like last week, you can vote and rearrange the rankings in the comments. And um, vote for your favorites. This one is just my different representations of male and female. Like, I don't know if you can see all the detail, but I did like, I did them all in the same color scheme because I didn't want them to contrast too much with the different colors and everything. But, um, yeah, basically it's just showing the difference between how I draw guys and how I draw girls. Like, I did profiles and I did long hair because I like long hair. It's easier to add motion to, and I don't really know how to draw short hair. But, um, you can try and guess which ones are male and which ones are female if you want to. I mean, basically, they're, I won't say they're the same, but they're very similar. This next one on the list is my glitter fairy. I dedicated her to one of my friends at school. She knows who she is. She's one of my subscribers. But, um, yeah, because she loves glitter. She's part of the hashtag sparkle squad. And, um, yeah, one of my closest friends. And uh, she was the inspiration for this one. She knows who she is. I don't know if you can really see all the detail on this, but... Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. Would you believe I popped this out in five minutes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably like five to six or eleven. Yeah, this was like a quick sketch I was working on in English class just because I was all sparkly and I was happy. So I decided to draw someone else who was sparkly. This next one was originally like the female on the right was the only one that was colored. But back to my previous image, my friend told me I should add some more color to it. So I decided to do them in similar colors because, all honesty, it's the same character, just with a different body type. Because this is one of my way early ones from my very first sketchbook. This one was from like sixth grade, where I was working on male and female because, all honesty, I suck at drawing males. I can't do it. They always wind up just looking like boxes. So this was one of my better attempts at drawing a male body. And when I first tried to record this video, you couldn't see him at all because it was like straight lead against paper. So I added, I added some ink in a similar color just to make him stand out a little bit more. And um, really, I only added, I only drew the female in there for comparison. She was mainly just to help me out so I could see the differences between boy and girl drawings. <laughs> this next one is my many attempts at the semicolon tattoo. And just like you can vote for your favorite art piece, you can vote for your favorite semicolon. Rank them between one and five. And the winner, I will get tattooed on my hand when I am old enough. My personal favorite is the one up at the top. Mia, what do you think about them? Which one's your favorite? This one. The one at the top. And um, I know it's kind of weird because like, you can still see the spine of the other sketchbook. But um, it's just on the side of my notebook because I was taking notes. This is like from an early English class. I was taking notes and I just decided to doodle on the side of my notebook. But um, yeah, so... Vote for your favorites in the comments and rearrange the rankings. And um, I will see you guys next week. Like and subscribe. Say bye to the camera. Bye.